Honey, I'm home. Where the hell have you been, Slack? I sent you out for a liter of milk and you come back a year and a half later? Yeah, 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 I've been away. I've been away. Most humble apologies. Well, most humble apologies. What is going on, Slack? I bet a lot of you are wondering what is going on. I'll tell you what's going on. I've been writing out the last half of a really bad contract that was paying me peanuts for all the work I was doing here on Major Slack videos. This contract was foisted upon me by one of, I don't mind saying, one of the most unscrupulous, underhanded, badly managed gaming networks in the land of YouTube gaming. Mentioning no real names, of course, let's just call it Machidi Enema. How did this happen, Slack? I'll tell you how it happened. Back in the day, as in four or five years ago, Machidi Enema pretty much had a complete monopoly on multi-channel network gaming on YouTube. Getting noticed and signed up by Machidi Enema was considered the holy grail of YouTube gaming. If you got a contract with Machidi Enema, you got down on your hands and knees, kissed your keyboard, said three hail Gordon Freemans, and thanked your fucking lucky stars that you were one of the blessed few who could actually get paid for uploading gaming videos to YouTube. And being keenly aware of their almighty power over every single gamer on the face of the earth who had any aspirations of making a living playing video games, a very enticing prospect indeed. Machidi Enema thought nothing of dumping contracts on us containing enough legalese to confound a team of Harvard law professors. Then buried deep in the fine print they slipped in a couple of key words in perpetuity which essentially meant we were all their prison bitches for life. That's right, for life. So after they finished tattooing a little M on all our asses to make sure no one else would want to have us, and should anyone dare to even think about having us, they would face the mighty wrath of Machidi Enema. The dollar figures on our pay stubs started shrinking and all we got by way of explanation were some skillfully manufactured bullshit excuses that were, for all intents and purposes, complete breaches of contract. I would have respected them more if they simply said, Hello, partner. It's that time of month again. That's right. Payday! Ha <laughs> ha. Take out your KY jelly and bend over so we can ream you another good one. Fortunately, their little turn every YouTube gamer into a prison bitch for life scheme got exposed and they were forced to send out new contracts to everybody. New contracts that locked us in for several years instead of for life. But in fine machidi anima form, they once again slipped into the fine print that after the several years were up, the contract would automatically renew until you finally figured out that you had to give them advanced written notice to terminate the contract. Unfortunately, at the time our contracts were <coughs> renegotiated, <laughs> machidi anima was still pretty much the only game in town. So we all lapped up the new contracts like a bunch of puppy dogs in a dumpster full of bacon cheeseburgers. Yeah, we, we all said, okay, we're not getting paid as much, but at least we're still getting paid. But then the reaming continued. Hello, bitch. Bend over. It's payday again. Oh, no. Can you squeal like a pig boy? <laughs> Just like this. <laughs> and again. Hello, bitch. Bend over, it's payday again! Oh no! And every month, for the next several years. Hello bitch, bend over, it's payday again! Alright, alright, why don't you just take it all and leave my ass alone this month? I'm still recovering from the reaming you gave me last month! Long story short, I had the presence of mind to carefully read every word in the new contract, including all the convoluted fine print legal de gook, and then I proceeded to dot all the I's and cross all the T's required to perform a machidi anima ectomy. Yep, it was time to scrape this carbuncle off my butt once and for all. So when I finally gave them notice, all of a sudden machidi anima was trying to kiss and make up. Slack, wait, 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 don't go. We'll, we'll give you a 75% cut. To which I replied a very emphatic, no. Then it was like, Slack, no, no, wait, we'll, we'll give you a 90% cut. And I'm there like, dude, why didn't you just offer me the 90% cut in the first place? See what a bunch of scumbags you are? Once again, the answer is no. I want you off my ass now. Slack, slack, slack. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. We'll, we'll give you... And I said, hold up right there. I don't care if you offer me 16 dump trucks full of Spanish gold doubloons. 
A free copy of every video game on the face of the earth and then the history of mankind? A computer powerful enough to run all those video games simultaneously? And a golden unicorn that farts out double rainbows every time I feed it some Skittles? The answer is still no. Then Mishiti Enema replied something to the effect that my request to be released from a contract that I had every legal right to terminate was being submitted for approval. Huh? As if they had a choice and they were doing me a favor by letting me go. It was nuts. It was absolutely nuts. So then my wife and I got lawyered up like you wouldn't believe. Yeah, we were ready to land the law down on their asses like a sumo wrestler. We were ready to rock. We were ready to rock. But then yesterday morning, yesterday morning, Major Slack Videos was suddenly and quietly with no fanfare, no official notice, nothing, just forever released from the greedy clutches of Machidi Anima. Yeah. 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 All together now. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Hey.